say Brother O'Neill! Fuck you, man! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're the guy stealing contracts! You burnt the farm! Killed my brothers! You had too many brothers! They needed culling! You're fucking dead! Aren't we all? We live and we die! That's our curse! Hey, you wanna expedite the situation? Come fucking find me! Vespucci Beach, Los Santos, you inbred hillbilly fuck! I'll be there, man! I don't know when, but I'll be there! Come to clean us. Hey, bud! What you do? Nothing! What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunt hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell, why not? All right, then. Up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town would sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. Uh, not those dishes, Trevor. Yeah, that's it. Give him hell. Shoot another one. <laughs> no more reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy date, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. So, what now? We gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? <laughs> Nothing as slippery as that, you'll see. Well, we'll take your vehicle then. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. You know, I could. Rising my shooting, you'll be starring in a snuff with that rifle. Here we are. I bet you never shut out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I wanna see how you deal with a moving target. Oh, where's your firearm at? Ain't you gonna use the rifle I gave you? This is perfect right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good plain old fashioned fun. Oh. 
same luck. So if you do miss, at least you'll not spook the driver. What? That's it, beauty. And again, Trevor. I never knew you were such an agitator, Cletus. All these damn tourists coming out here to gop at rednecks. Give them what they want, I say. Sometimes I come up here with my girl. I ain't the prettiest, but she can handle a firearm like a Marine. Mm, we got lucky with you, all right. Go for the tires, not the car. Hellfire! Ah! Don't be shy. Tires don't feel no pain. This is surprisingly cathartic. One day I'll take you stomp a farts out of dead seagulls. Now that's a good time. Nice! Go on, one more, just for the hell of it. Suck my pecker! Hellfire, Trevor, you ain't rushing this, are you? Shown sometimes you ain't a slave to the system. Looks like maybe you could use some more practice. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. No harm done. Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks your tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not... Neighborly. We'll get a better shot from up here. See him. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out, and the rest should scatter. Ha! Sing to me now, song dog! And another! Dropped it like a bad habit. I think you got one more in you, Trevor. Time to fish or cut bait, Trevor. That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Eh, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about.
Give me strength! There you are, handsome. No, Ma. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone. About to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, is one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file. Mods of Grape Seed, please leave a message if you have any information relating to the whereabouts of unaccounted for delinquents.
I'll have to keep an eye out for you. No one was going to stop. Short dress, boo, vulnerable but playful demeanor. What more does a girl have to do these days? You cast out this kind of bait, you'd expect at least a couple of old sharks to come sniffing. But along you came. Thank God. Uh, less of the old, please. I'm in the prime of my life. Just promise me you're not going to wear my skin or imprison me in a crawl space for 20 years? Joke. Kind of. You're cool, right? Sorry, I'm coming down. I've been hurting like a biatch. Yesterday was a blizzard, man. I don't even remember getting out of bed, let alone going to bed. Good times. Yeah, okay. And what's on top of the Vinewood Hills? I'm going to see my man. He's a security guard at the Ten broadcast tower right behind the famous Vinewood sign. He's been stressed out, really working long hours, so I thought I'd surprise the big lug. We haven't seen each other for like a week. Or maybe it's two. I don't know. Crazy how time flies. Wait, that's my phone. Speak of the devil. Hey, sweetie, I was just talking about you. To this guy who was nice enough to give me a ride? No, not like that. I'm pitching back into town. Yeah, I know what happened last time, but I'm pretty sure this guy is okay. I ran out of money or I would have gotten a cab. Yes, all the thousand you gave me. What's the big deal? I said I'd pay you back. I'm sorry, okay? My phone was out of juice. I only just got it charged. I was staying at a friend's at Sandy Shores. You know, Brianna or Susie. No, I haven't spoken to him in weeks. This is just some random guy, I swear. Calm down, babe. Look, would you tell him? Are you talking to me? Yes, tell him you're not a guy called Brian. You're just some random guy. What? Just shout it! I'm just some random guy not called Brian. There, babe, you believe me now? Babe! Babe! Shit, he hung up on me. Sorry about that. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how well do you think that went? He'll be fine when I surprise him. Probably just having a bad day. He can never stay mad at me for long. Opposites attract, you know. He's the serious, responsible, pay your bills, save for the future type, and I'm the sexy, bohemian, go off for days and do X in the middle of the desert type. I'm young, I'm still exploring my mind, discovering who I am. He knows I'll come back. When you run out of money. Whoa there, random guy, less of the judging. Wait, there's my phone again. What's up? Yeah, hitching back into town. How do you think I feel? I'm wrecked. I know, I'll have one last bag etched on my tombstone. Don't flatter yourself. I can walk just fine, thank you. You're bad. Anyway, gotta go. I'll text you later. Don't tell me. Brian? What? No, just one of my girlfriends. Look, I'm seriously flagging now. I'm going to rest my eyes for a few minutes if that's cool. See if I can power nap my way into a second wind. So, broadcast tower behind the Vinewood sign, I, I think it's Mount Han Drive. Just holler when we get there. You're the best. And don't touch me or anything, okay? Can't promise anything. I jest, of course. You're horrible.
Yes, there he is. Hey, babe! Surprise! And who's this guy? What, no kiss? Hey, punk, what the hell do you think you're doing with my woman? Are you Brian? Calm down, I don't even know the guy. I've been waiting to do this. Come on then, Brian, you pussy. You got it all wrong. Oh, I'm so Ooh. sorry. You're not even good looking! No! Don't hurt him! Guys, take it easy! Nobody touches my girl! What have you done to him, you psychopath? Miss me!
This car's gonna be parked outside your house! Ugh, whatever. Dexy, Dexy! That's your fault, you stupid bald prick! Quick! Go on! Go after him! <gasps> Someone call the pound! And an ambulance! Come on, doggy. Be good to daddy. Oh, gotcha, you little bastard. There, there. I know this is weird for all of us. You're gonna make a batshit crazy lady very happy. <sighs> okay, uh, now get back to Carrie before she uses this as an excuse to go back to rehab. Hey, buddy. We're still running tomorrow, right? I can just eat you. Shock! Celebrity newsflash! Maniac steals collar from Carrie McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills! Oh, how delightful! Mrs. Thornhill will have me sporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. <laughs> we really can't thank you enough for all the effort you're going to to make our holiday so special. Ah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself.
Get mad over nothing, ain't shit. I have to ask you something. Oh, what exactly are you on, lady? I like to be on you, sugar. Nah, I've got very low standards, but even I ain't gonna sink that low. Hey, fuck you, man. Shit. We kind of established that that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Look, I got a husband. He just needs money. Hmm. No, he needs a divorce, lady. Creepy ass motherfucker. Fuck you! Disrespecting a lady like that. Shit. Stay the fuck away, freak. I got to find a new lawyer. No shit. Hey, girlfriend. Oh, look at you. What's good, baby? What you doing around here, white boy? Shit, you looking real lost in bandit country.
See that in Rathbone. It's like a foreign language. I've got to get well, the number I of never. that head. <laughs> there you are, hmm? Jock. Yeah, I got you that stuff. Oh, great. Dang it. Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's mm -hmm. not my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kitties at home. We met online. It's no nothing sexual. Where is she? Well, she's been trying to throw herself under celebs' wheels. <laughs> well, well, she can throw herself under my wheels anytime. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were funny, Jock. Yeah. I knew I would like you. C can I have a hug? Okay. Yeah. Uh, hug, yeah. Uh, Come here. Come here. Uh, I've got a protruding hip. It's not a semi. Nigel! Jock! No. You won't believe what's happened! What? Only Al Dinapoli walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among, among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. Of mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. You're me! I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. Jolly bad luck, and we were such fans. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruin everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lock-up I know. No problemo. Look, there he is. Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. Nigel, he remembers me. To the chariot. Jock, you drive. Quick, he's getting away. He's taking a left turn down the high street, Jock. Time was. Did you ever imagine we might get a private audience with Al Di Napoli? Only in my wildest dreams. All those nights spent role-playing in Mother's utility room. If only we'd known. Glad to see you on the proper side of the road, dear boy. I loved him in The Redeemer. Oh, Nigel, do your Al Di Napoli line. This is turban warfare, motherfucker. <laughs> it's uncanny. <laughs> oh, dear. Poor Jock must think we're batty. Oh, don't be silly. I hear that behind his charitable public face, he's remarkably... Oh, my word, Jock. Do you see that lorry? What the fuck's a lorry? Have a little faith. Anyone would think this was my first kidnapping. What on earth will we feed the man? I hadn't even thought of that. He probably eats sushi or quinoa. Is that even how you say it? What if he wants meth? Don't get flustered again, Nigel. You'll have another turn. Find out! He's going into the car park! The car park! No worries, mate! Oh, I hope he likes us! How could he not? This lock... It's okay, they all have private health care. This lockup you prepared sounds charming. Just be yourself, Mrs. Oh, my giddy aunt. Everything okay there, Earl Crazy Cakes? My prostate has taken quite a beating. Do you have to lower the tone? This must be second nature to you, John. All those stunts you used to do. And we saw you're up for governor of San Andreas. That's right. In between openly attacking celebrities all over town, I'm running for public office. 
this level of derangement, I'm impressed. Is he going through the hospital? Oh my lord! Hold on to your corsets! Uh, seems rude not to follow him through the window. It's all gone topsy turvy upside down, Kate! to escort your guest of honor to the trunk. Well, if you don't mind. Oh, come here, you. Come on. Come on. Let me meet your biggest fan. Ah. Oh, you're fucking crazy. Oh, it's Get off me. Natalie. You're good to go. Ah, a true gentleman. This is so exciting. Nut jobs. Take out and coffee, jacking off and shit. Get to sleep for four hours before doing it all Whoa, over again. Christ, dude. Back what off. What else? There's no R rated area. You think I won't call the cops? with me.
Whoa ho! There you are, Trevor. Ah, oh, but ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. 
If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them, and they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right. This is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. This is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. You got him. Pull the trigger. You blew his damn head off. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before, nice and steady. You might want to blow that whistle again. Lay him in the shade. You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while. Uh, why are you tracking me when there's a forest full of elk back there?
photo, another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we can make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth. Cool with me.
I have to ask you something. Oh, what exactly are you on, lady? I'd like to be on you, sugar. Nah, I've got very low standards, but even I ain't gonna sink that low. Hey, fuck you, man! Shit! We kind of established that that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Look, I got a husband. He just needs money. Hmm. No, he needs a divorce, lady. <laughs> Creepy ass motherfucker. Fuck you! Disrespecting a lady like that. Shit. Oh, 
god. here. Jack. It's gonna strip the screw there. I can't put the cap on. No, it's a nut, man. You just screw it back on. Hey, what are you doing here, citizen? I said, what are you doing here, citizen? Nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. You're clearly a tourist. 
to our friends from up north, eh? A boot? Don't even say it like that. There's a moose loose a boot to hoose. <laughs> Fuck off, you hoosier, eh? Hey, 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 what's hey, that? Hey, hey, oh, Jesus. It's a faint hey. fucking accent. Get out of here. You can hardly come on, tell. Come on. Hey, insurgent, shit. insurgent. We have contact. We have contact. What's going on? Move! Come on, man! Untie me! I've been here for hours! <laughs> oh, thank God. I'm in so much trouble. Can you give me a ride? Please! I'll repay you, I promise! Mmm, naked road trip. I'm in. This is such a disaster. I'm supposed to be getting married. I need to get my suit from home and pick up the car. Then trek down my soon-to-be-dead best man. 
Pray to fuck, he still has the rings. You get to the church. In, like, five hours. I promised her I wouldn't go crazy. She's gonna kill me. I'm such an idiot. The ceremony starts at 10 a.m. Dick is burning. I'm so dehydrated. If you hadn't stopped, I don't know what I would have done. Well, I stopped because I got a soft spot for a man in panties. A few cars went by, but nobody stopped. Nobody would help. They would just slow down, roll down the window, laugh and point, take photos, and then speed off. I was on my bachelor party. Mmm, that part I got. It's the stripped and tied to a post in the middle of nowhere bit. That's what I'm interested in. <laughs> Come on. I want sorted details. Dude, I have no recollection. It was supposed to be a few quiet drinks, you know? Then the absinthe came out. Then the coke came out. At least I think it was coke. It got really out of hand. They made me finger a dog. I teabagged an elderly lady in a bus stop. Eh, eh, these things happen. Last thing I remember, I was stuffing a handful of mushrooms in my mouth. As you do. Go on. Next thing I know, I wake up there, with a deer gnawing at my balls. It's a low point. Mmm. What, what's that perfume you're wearing? It smells cheap. I don't know. No, wait. Shit, no. It was a stripper, I think. And a midget. Or a stripper midget. Oh, God! All the hallmarks of a classic night out. I don't know what the problem is. I've really done it this time. How am I gonna be able to say these vows, man? Okay, that's the car I'm arriving in for the wedding. You jump in and wait while I get changed quickly. It's my father-in-law's. This bastard. He loves this car more than he loves his own daughter. Oh, it's a miracle I'm helping you at all. When will I learn to leave a naked man on the side of the road? Okay. At least I look like I'm getting married now. I got a message from my best man saying he's in a restaurant out of town. If he's lost the wedding rings, I'm gonna call him. Come on, pick up. Who do you think it is? A so-called friend you tied to a pole in the middle of nowhere with no fucking clothes on? We don't have time for this now. Just tell me you have the rings. Unbelievable! One thing you haven't yet completely fucked up. Stay there, don't move, I'm on my way! Okay, the good news is, he's in a seafood diner on the way to the church. You step on it, we might make this. Only that douche would be eating lobster at a time like this. down the aisle. Oh, shit, no! Get trapped in a car! Okay, there's quick, and then there's murdering people. Please, you have no idea how much he loves this car.
Where's the prick there? Dude! Look who it is. The worst best man ever. Enjoy your seafood platter, asshole. You better still have those rings. Yeah, chill. They're in my pocket. Okay, let's go. We don't have much time. Dude, dude, not so loud. My head's in pieces. <laughs> what a night. What for the history books? Do you have any idea what you put me through? It's my wedding day, you dick. I could have died. It's a rite of passage, bro. <laughs> you can tell it the grandkids about this. I told you it was a dumb idea to do it right before the wedding. What the? Uh, no. You lay this guilt trip on me about tradition. A couple of beers, you said. We did only have a couple of beers, man. It was all the other shit. You always have to take it too far. Miss me! Why the fuck did you strip me? <laughs> you strip yourself, man. You don't remember? What? Don't worry, it's all on film. You were totally strung out, embarrassingly so. Way into the dark side, man. The fear had you, dude. And that was the point you thought it was a good idea to drive me into the wilderness and tie me up by myself. I'm not entirely sure how all that panned out, to be honest. I was tripping balls after you fucked that tiny stripper. Okay, I don't want to hear any more. Let's just get to the church. Oh, man. I'm so pissed off. Oh, shit. It's gonna start any minute. Oh, God. She looks pissed. Babe! I'm so sorry! Dude, keep the card. This marriage is only happening because of you. Holy freaking cricket! You finally decided! Show up! As long as we are married, I will never forget this! Babe, I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Come just... on!
Hey boss, we got a guy just called for a car and he was very specific about who he wanted. Any chance you can drive him down to the port of Los Santos? Sure, just tell me where I gotta go. I think a uh, guy's called Walter. He's out at MU Nation in Pillbox Hill. Yo, right here! Hey, where you going? Down to the port, the shipyard off Signal Street. Hey, you work at the docks? No. There's some freaks who hang out down there. I need to talk to them about my niece. She hasn't been home in three days. Have you heard of the Lost? They're a biker gang. Oh, yeah. Them punks is like weeds, man. Can't seem to get rid of them. You should watch yourself, man. They nasty. They're cowards. You stand up to them. You look... Why are you driving like a maniac? You look them in the eye, you see who they really are. A bunch of scared kids. Never had any friends at school living out some homoerotic fantasy. A few tattoos, a leather jacket, and a bandana don't make you tough. I've worked construction my whole life. Guys who don't need to act tough because they are. Not dressing up like some girly glam rock reject. And even the few that did, it was on the weekends on their own time. Now, nah, young thugs these days, they're all mouth and nothing to back it up. They don't scare me. I just want to find out where Kelly is. Ever since my sister's loser husband ran out on her, I've been like a father to her. And I know I'm strict. You have to be these days. The world we live in, see, you're a decent kid, working an honest job for an honest dollar. That's all I want for her. Man, believe me, even this job don't make me an honest dollar half the time. I bought a cab company with a client list of lunatics. I wish she never met those damn bikers. She's always been easily led astray, one of those innocent types. And that's why it pisses me off when these deadbeats try to take it back. Okay, uh, we're nearly there. Here, take this gun. Hey, what? And you said you just wanted to talk to them. Worst case scenario, something goes wrong. I thought you'd be okay with it. Why? Because I'm a young black man from Chamberlain Hill? Is this why you asked for me? You're not okay with it? Yeah, I'm cool with it. That's not the point. It's just a precaution. Okay. I'm gonna go have a word with these guys. Just wait here. Just be cool, all right? This don't feel right. Not this guy again. Hey! Where's my niece, you punks? Where's Kelly? I know you got her. I told you. Don't worry about Kelly. She loves us. Some nights, she loves us all at the same time. <laughs> Fuck you! Well, you think I'm scared of you? You think you're gangsters? Tell me where she is or I'll shoot! Oh, shit. Now, out of respect for your whore of a niece, I'm gonna give you three seconds to get the fuck out of here. Oh! 
Don't set that flight by! Man, seriously, you saved my ass. Oh, this is fucking awesome. Oh, it's cool, man. My repo instincts kicked in. So I take it I can count on your attendance, friend. Huh? At the smoke in. We're what? Yeah. We're gonna bring down the government by smoking weed together in a public place. It's very effective. I'm prepared to be a martyr, friend. Are you? Shit, if being a martyr means to smoke good weed, for sure. Would you like a little warm-up? You know, before you go and collect the supplies? Before I what? You know. Get the supplies. Can't have a smoke in without smoke. You know, cerebral stuff that's gonna get the people up off their feet protesting. Man, I don't know. It sounds kind of bullshit to me. We're gonna crush them with our resolve. <clears throat> have a little taste of that. <clears throat> Just a mellow, sophisticated high. Man, it seems a little dry. Can't you see the aliens? Man, what else are you taking? Man, this shit is garbage. Anyway, just get the stuff. It's a revolution, and then call me. Crazy motherfucker. San Andreas needs you. I I'll text you where the stuff is.
sells everything. What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked the child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapoles. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. And he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now... Consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment, and we don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. Ouch! Yeah, I promise I'll be back home to visit soon. to a buck.
Let's move it out, people. We need this area cleared. Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some wannabe hippie waving an anthem. Man, you get what you give out, Mr. Lowry. We got a shooter! Take cover! I got a visual! Boss is down! Get an ambulance, now! This is too much! <laughs> 